The European Union has dropped a key part of its 2040 proposal requiring agricultural emissions to be cut by 30 percent. It's a big deal. The move comes as Spanish farmers stage protests across the country, as you see right there, using tractors to block roads in some areas. They're joining farmers in Germany, France, and other European countries who have held similar protests in recent weeks. Farmers are angry about rising costs, high levels of bureaucracy, and competition from non-EU countries. Now, the farmers are not happy. To talk about that, I'm joined here by my colleague Beatrice Cristofaro from DW Environment. Beatrice, let's, let's talk about what the EU did today. Did they pull back because of the anger of the farmers? Well, we can't say exactly if that was the reason, but, you know, we can put two and two together. If we look at the climate goals overall that they announced today, the, you know, interim target for 2040 is that they want to reduce their emissions by 90 percent compared to uh, 1990. That's a really, really ambitious target. Right. But then we have agriculture, which is a sector that, you know, emits more than 10 percent, more than 10 percent of the EU's emissions are come from agriculture alone. Mm -hmm. And then we're not even going to mention that in these ambitious targets. Mm -hmm. So it is definitely a sign that, you know, there is uh, a lot of social pushback to some of these measures. Uh, it is a challenge for the EU to kind of balance the measures uh, and make them palatable, palatable for every sector. And most importantly, to provide incentives mm -hmm. to get everyone on board and to get everyone to participate. Well, you know, I think, I think when we talk about reducing our CO2 footprint, you and I know that, you know, we, if we ride our bike instead of driving a car, for example, that's the easiest. But what about for farmers in the agricultural sector? What, what are the challenges of reducing emissions? The challenge really is the way that we've been doing agriculture for the past decades, and that is a system that really incentivizes raising down massive parts of nature, you know, massive carbon sinks also that, you know, absorb lots of CO2, uh, to make space for huge crops, huge monocultures. And uh, that also gets subsidized. You know, the more you produce, the more money you get. That's a financial incentive. Which to is a huge chunk of the European Union's budget, right? The, exactly. the subsidies for farmers. Absolutely. 